here he is so he is i think nine weeks um he is a french bulldog full of spunk and tenacity and he is not liking this car ride so say hey to the people i will tell you his name a little bit later um picking him up thorough inspection um his breeder was super informative um, and she sent pictures for pretty much the whole since he was born up until now. So yeah, I will see you guys when I get home and settled and we'll chat. Look who is fat and full. Cool. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I think this is the bummiest two days that I have ever had. I have literally been in like big t-shirts, jeans, sweatpants, shorts, whatever, because I've been in full on puppy mom mode, which is fine. Um, so far, so good. I did stop by TJ Maxx today and I grabbed him this travel bag. So I just put a couple of his things in there that I'll need for tomorrow. My bag is packed. His two bags are packed. And um, when he wakes up, I'm going to give him a bath. So he's ready to go for tomorrow. So far, so good. He actually sleeps better in his crate than he does in his um, playpen. So I put him in his playpen earlier. He was not having it. Put him in his crate. And he's sound asleep so i don't know if it's because it's a more smaller confined area but he's chilling i'm happy he's happy we're good so yeah i will see you guys when i'm done packing or when he wakes up whichever happens first and i feel bad like maybe i should take him home and get him settled first and then come to pet smart I guess you're still taking them home, right? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, they, I'm looking for a puppy playpen, and they don't have one. I would even take like the um the pop up one, but I don't see nothing to kind of give him a little pet area. I think Walmart would have something like that for like little kids, the pop up little play areas. Oh. Would that work be the same thing? Cause that's what it kind of is, right? The one that, like, you put like if you go outside, take your kid outside. Mm -hmm. you think Walmart would have something like that? Maybe. I got a message in the group talking about if you on this side between ten thirty. guys know we're in the RV which means limited very limited space so I got his little playpen set up we downsized so he's got his litter so he is litter train water bowl food bowl pee pad over there which looks like he peed on it so we'll work on this but yeah he's good to go I'm about to I have to go get him a bed after my doctor's appointment to the pet store I made a list of things we need that I didn't get because I just wanted to get him home fed watered um, and situated so now he's resting when we go back out we're gonna go shopping to get him some stuff just for right now because we leave in a couple of days 
so I don't need to get him much. Finally introducing him to the others. And this is how it's going. So far, so good. So, our doctor's appointment went well. He peed. I, I put the litter, his litter box in the back seat on the floor. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's right there. So he peed twice since we've been out. I got him a whole, I got him a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll show you guys when we get back to the RV. And he's been sleeping, but chilling. But Grayson is getting ready to see him for the very first time. So hopefully we can get his act, his reaction on camera. Okay, y'all, he's coming. I'm gonna put, I put the dog underneath the blanket. I don't know if Tooth has a sixth scent, but he asked to come home early today. So, yeah. Hey, Papa. Hi. Dog food. It's not dog food. Yeah, you got So we back home. Somebody got their dinner. But he's done eating. I've changed clothes because I'm about to get ready to play with him. So let me get him situated and I'll see y'all in a minute. It's not allowed, it's not allowed, little bark, but it's enough to get my attention. And we about to put his crate together. It's tight spaces for sure. This is where the kennel ended up. I mean the daytime his daytime setup ended up right here and then his nighttime setup will go in our bedroom so the crate that i chose is the digs crate i'll have a link below in the description box so you guys can get some money off um this is not sponsored it's just after doing my research this was the crate that i decided to go with so yeah so we about to set it up. Let's go. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you been, where you hide. So, not too shabby. It didn't look hard. I didn't really do much, but it didn't look hard to me. How was set up, babe? Um, it was actually easy. Even though it was only three steps. It was actually easy when you actually went through the steps. So looking at it is very intimidating. Like this can't be that easy. But you just follow the step and what took what less than two minutes? Yeah, it was easy. Two minutes. No have to cobble in. Huh? Okay. Go start the time. So we in there with the door open, but we in there and we sleep. So so far, so good. It's six o'clock in the morning and he did okay. Kiddo turned in last night. He um, woke up like every two hours, took him to the bathroom, put him back in the kennel and he slept for another two hours, but he was fine. Now I'm in here with him. He just finished eating breakfast. So I'm about to get him cleaned up, feed him. I mean, get him cleaned up, make sure he uses the bathroom, play with him all the things and then try to chill for a little bit longer but we'll see shake a morning pops shake a morning shake a morning so so far so good with the litter 
we only had one little baby accident yesterday and that was my fault. And it was like literally not even a whole pee on the floor. But and then you guys see where he went on the puppy pad. So I've taken the puppy pad out and just left the litter box because that's what I want him to go on. And so far, so good. So I'm trying to get him used to playing in his crate. He did really good last night, like I said. So... I'm gonna tell the people good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, pup day. Your friend is back here going off because he is eating lunch and he wants me to be in here with him and I have things to do, so I'm not. But here he is. That is his lunch. He ate half. Um, I actually have an appointment in a couple of, in a little bit. So I'm going to get ready for my appointment, let him finish eating for another 10 to 15 minutes and then play and take him to the bathroom. But yeah, so far so good. He took a good little nap. Um, and we just been chilling. So it hasn't been, it hasn't been terrible. We did have one accident, um, since I last saw y'all. So Everything is in the washing machine, well, the dryer now. So, yeah. Life of getting a new puppy, but he's perfect. So, I'm not mad. You see he's calmed down a little bit. But as soon as I walk out, he gonna go off. Watch. <coughs> Told you. He's fine. He's absolutely fine. There's food in there. There's water in there. His Um, potty tray is clean and available to him so he's absolutely fine he just wants me to be there and I am not giving in to this behavior so he's just gonna have to bark and be mad for a little bit because I got things to do I need to wash these dishes and straighten up so yeah and then tonight I need to pack because we leave in the morning okay so before we wake y'all internet fur baby up i want to let you guys know about this collapsible pet bathtub sent to me by dd luck so thank you dd luck so much for sending me this bathtub i'm excited to use it let's hop to the shower Some luck in the buck. I don't give what I was so and so and say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Bath time is all done. And him is shaking and shivering. So we're gonna let him finish drying off. I went ahead and put him a little sweater on. It says I still live with my parents. So yeah. Bath time over. The link for the collapsible bathtub will be in the description box below. So get you one, girl. Good morning, y'all. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. On night two. Night two was definitely rougher than night one. Night two. He peed in his kennel, so I'm washing his blanket now. Um, he's a lot more vocal. Oh, yeah. Um, Y'all hear baby back there storing. Somebody over here whining. I just wanted to come give y'all an update, like, day two, night two. It's a rough one. I'll see y'all, hopefully, in a couple hours after he goes 
to the bathroom and I can go back to sleep. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> it is 6 a.m. Somebody is up eating their breakfast. Just went to the bathroom while he's eating and doing all of his things. I am about to brush my teeth, wash my face, and get ready for the day. All right, this is a little bit better. I feel like myself again. So, yeah, it is what is this new puppy day three situation? Yeah, and I don't know if I told you guys, but he officially made nine weeks yesterday so he is a nine week old puppy my advice to you if you're getting a new puppy take a few days off because that first night he tricked me that was like oh i even messaged his breeder i was like oh my god did you guys work on crate training because he did great last night she was like uh i put him to the side a little bit but not really but i'm glad that he's doing well for you Oh, but last night, hmm. last night was the get you gotcha, and he gave it to me. He is doing well. You say good morning to the people. Good morning. Do you like your puppy? Yeah. Okay, you can see him when he licked my mouth. When he licked your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, we are getting ready to go. But, um, yeah, so when I get settled down, I will show you guys everything that I bought for my puppy. Um, and I don't know if y'all caught it or not, but his name is Major. So, Major Chapman, I told you guys, we got him on the same day that our dog passed away two years ago. Our dog's name that passed away two years ago was Majesty. So, Major, Majesty, M-A-J, M-A-J. So, Yeah. But uh, I got to roll out of here because I don't want to be the reason why we're late. So I will see you guys a little bit later and I'll give you a pub date and wrap this up. All right, Mr. Chapman. Y'all, it is the same day. I just changed my clothes. Babe is driving. Y'all saw the little clip of him graduating. Me and Grayson and Major were far, far back. So um, you can't really see that good. But... He graduated from college, and we're so, so proud of him, and now we're on our way back to Texas. But being on our way back to Texas means what? It means Bucky's for the win. You see, somebody is passed out. So, yeah. We are headed to back to Texas, but we're gonna stop in Georgia tonight um let me tell y'all something getting this dog i got him at the most craziest time like i am super busy this week next week but it's okay um it's been a, it's been a pleasure the good thing about litter training your puppy you know they're small so they're not really supposed to be like out in the grass where other people's dogs go and when you go to places like bucky's or you know places rest stops where dogs use the bathroom it's a lot of dogs so you typically don't want to let your dog use the bathroom you got to clean them up boop, 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 yada 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 right but the good thing is we got our little tray in the back so he keeps his same situation and he goes in a litter um yeah so and he also has his little travel bag back there next to his best friend that straps into the car so um the seatbelt goes through it to keep it secure when you're driving but he's clearly drove a long way had a long day i think it's from all that ruckus and racket he kept up last night and now he's trying to sleep it off but it's all good um so yeah that's the good thing about litter training your puppy is you don't really have to worry about the bathrooms being contaminated or anything like that so just a quick little just my little two cents my little tip do do what you want to do his bag does have puppy pads in there in case he has an accident and he has um peed on the puppy pad and i just changed it out um when we went when 
we went to um, Bucky's. Yeah. So he was in his bag originally. He peed in the. He peed on the puppy pad. I changed the puppy pad. Easy day, right? So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. So when we get to Georgia, I'm gonna try to do my what I bought this dog haul. If not, I will do it tomorrow when we get to Texas. And then we're going to wrap this thing up. So, see y'all in a little bit. That is a I hater. realized. That is a hater. That is a hater. I realized that I have not been on here. But getting across country with a puppy. No, no, no. Not an easy task. We've been getting it done. So, somebody just ate. We're at a gas station. I just got us some food. He's eating what well, he's drinking now. And it looks like he's done. So, it's not an easy task, but we're getting it done. But I just wanted to check in with y'all and say, hey, where we at, Louisiana? Yeah, uh, yep. We in Louisiana. I so think we should be about, crossing yeah. about less than 30 minutes. We yeah, we got like three more hours till we get to Texas. Well, not till we get to Texas, but till we get to my sister's house. We got like three mm -hmm. more hours. But um, he's eating, he's drank, we're about to eat, drink, he's played, yeah, so it's, it's been a, it's been adventurous to say the least, but so far so good. So I will see you guys when something happens. All right, y'all, so we have finally made it to Texas and you know that because you see Putin do say hey Emory so I'm about to pop in this room it's late it's 10 I'm about to pop in this room show y'all what I bought for this puppy and then edit this video so y'all can get it tomorrow because this video is coming out tomorrow I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there from me to you so let's go talk about what we bought for this puppy let's go over the essentials that i bought for my puppy that i think if you're getting a puppy or you're thinking about getting a puppy that you should know that you might have to get some of the things that you guys have already some of the things that you guys have already seen is of course the crate it does not have to be a digs crate but i really like this crate um as you see we travel so being able to break it down and fit it in the car and pop it back up wherever we are is um, very convenient so definitely a crate that works for your lifestyle if you're interested in the digs crate I have all the information linked below so that you guys can get a discount um, you saw the bathtub you don't have to use that bathtub but again if it's our lifestyle so that's the one that we went with and they sent it to me and I, I actually enjoyed it. It's classable. I can use it as a bucket to carry all of his, his things. So a bathtub. Um, and then the little playpen is something that you should think about as well. Because I usually put him in his crate for like um, to go to bed or whatever. But like in the daytime when I just need to clean up or get stuff done, I'll leave him in the playpen out in an open area. Um, what else did I buy? You guys saw yesterday, but shampoo and conditioner. I got, make sure it's a puppy shampoo or a dog shampoo. Um, the humans, the human ones just don't, um, really mesh with their body chemistry and it can dry your dog out, which leads to further issues. So dog shampoo, dog conditioner, um, he has his own towel, as you guys saw from the bath situation. I got him a blanket for when we travel. And his breeder also sent him home with a blanket with his siblings and his mom's scent on it. Next up, I got him this little pouch so I can carry him when I need to. It's like a little mama kangaroo pouch. And then it has um, a place to put your phone. Everything will be linked below that I got from Amazon. And if I can find a link to the other things, then I will link those below as well in case you're interested in getting the things that I have. 
Y'all know I'm extra. So he has a couple little outfits. I won't bore you with all of them. But if you're into dressing your dog, or even if you're not, like, um, French book. French Bulldogs have a really hard time regulating their temperature in the summer. So he definitely has a couple of um, cooling vests and cooling handkerchiefs. So when summertime comes in a little heavier, you guys will see him in those toys of different textures. So I got him this Nerf ball. He's nine weeks, so he's teething like crazy. So I got him some chew toys. Um, y'all know we went to Bucky's, so he had his first little Bucky's toy. He really likes these lamb chops, are some of his favorite toys right now. Again, his breeder sent him home with this. Um, got him a collar with our phone number, and I did not put his name on here purposely. Um, I just didn't want, if, if he was to go missing, I don't want anybody to claim him as theirs or to know his name. So we put our last name and then um, our phone number. He will be microchipped shortly. So yeah. Um, French Bulldogs are notorious for their tear um, marks, tear troughs. So I got him wrinkle paste. So because he's like very light colored, the wrinkle paste will make sure he doesn't have tear staining. Woo! Bitter apple, a must. They do not like this. So I spray this on the things that he's not supposed to bite. And it's been working so, so, so far, so good. So good so far. I don't know, y'all. It's late. It's been working. Um, I got him two, like, feeding toys for enrichment. So, of course, a puppy Kong. And we're going to work on filling his Kongs and the other dog's Kongs as well. But we're focusing on him. So filling his Kongs and working with him on enrichment. And then I got him a groovy for when we start to really hone in on the kennel training. Um, not a big fan of puppy pads, but I do think that they're necessary sometimes, especially when traveling. So I have a pack of puppy pads. And... Last but not least, some training treats. Haven't gave him these yet because I wanted to get settled and let figure out, you know, his likes and dislikes. So I did get these Zoops Natural Puppy um, Rich Bites. And I like the Zoops brand. So, yeah, those are the things I got for my puppy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you are excited about our new addition to our family. I'm so excited and I'm glad that you guys get to come along on this journey with me. And now we have Major. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss another video and tell your friends to tell a friend to tell a friend tell your mama them tell your daddy them tell your sister them tell your brother them tell your auntie them tell your uncle them tell all of them that cc's world tv has a lot of great things going on on her channel and you don't want to miss it with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video peace